Hello everyone, this is Inma and today I would like to start a new series of videos with reviews of the different materials that you can download for uh, Clip Studio Paint. So these videos are only going to be useful if you are using Clip Studio Paint. Uh, all the materials that I'm going to review uh, can be downloaded. Some might be um, might not be free, but uh, most of them are. And I will leave the links to download these materials in the video description. Okay, so let's start. The first thing that I want to review is um, a pencil that I use to ink sometimes. So it's called Magipen, this one. And it gives a pencil look that I really like. It makes inking a bit uh, slower than any other kinds of brush, but the result is uh, really nice. As you can see. The more you press, the harder you press and the more lines you add, it becomes darker. So if you want to give your drawings a pencil-like line art, this one is really good. When I'm using this brush, uh, once I'm done, what I like to do is to, uh, since I'm using a vector layer, so I use this tool and I change how big the brush is. So for example, let's make it 8. And I really like this texture, but it, it all depends on the kind of drawing that you are making and the style that you want. So this is the brush that I used for this CG that I'm going to open when I find it. It's a bit big, so it takes a bit long. Okay, this one. This is the, the brush that I used here. So you see the texture? It looks like real pencil. And this brush comes in pack with another one, that's this. Uh, this is uh, more like a regular pen pencil, and I don't use it to ink because it's really light. But this one's very good to shade if you want to give a, a shading that looks like pencil. The harder you press, you have a darker color. It's very pressure sensitive. So yeah, these two Magi Pen, they come together. The second material that I would like to review is this action set. I think this is Korean, so I don't know what it says, but you will find the link in the video description, so don't worry. Uh, what it does is to change the line art color to some really bright colors that match what's underneath. So what you have to do is, uh, I have my colors here, and then this is my line art folder. So I click on the line art folder and click play on the first one. This is the one I use the most. It has many different options, but I will check them later. So I click play. And now it's gonna take a bit because this uh, picture is really big. It's 30 centimeters at uh, 600 dots per inch. So. So yes, what this is going to do is to turn my liner a lot brighter than it actually is and it will also change 
the line art color. Okay, this is just processing, it's not done yet. Okay, now, see, this looks really ugly, but um, we can adjust this layer's opacity to make it look good. But you can see that the line art matches the, the colors or the skin, the clothes, etc. So now I go here and in the opacity, I, I set the opacity to 50. And now it looks a lot nicer because it's just the colors are uh, not so saturated. So yeah, this is an action that I use a lot these days. And you have more options here, but I don't usually use them. For example, this one, I think it turns colors really, really light. I think maybe even brighter than the first one. This the light part was an addition that I added to the name because I can't, I can't read it. So yeah, sometimes I like to edit the names of the stuff that I have, but uh, usually I try to leave the original name somewhere so that I can look for it in the assets store. Ah, this really takes long. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, yes. Oh, so this actually turned very good. So you see this is uh, a lot lighter color, so I, I wouldn't need to change the opacity much. Maybe I would change it to 70. Yeah, but this looks very good actually. So yes, this is an action set that I use a lot these days. Even though I used to use different methods to, <clears throat> sorry, to change the liner color, I even made a tutorial in the Clip Studio Paint website. But these days, yeah, this is a lot easier. I hope you find this useful. The next material that I want to review is this uh, tights brush. It's decoration. So this is to draw different kind of tights and it's really really beautiful so let's see how this works it actually takes a bit to make it fit but okay more or less then so I feel this part now I can erase that I don't want or I could use a quick mask just to select where I want to draw because the, it has the shape like it's on a leg already so the result is really nice sometimes there are some lines are a bit wobbly but you can just fix them manually if there is some line that, that you don't like. And also you can even use it uh, as a guide and then draw on top of it. So yeah, that would be it for this one. This is a pack. It comes with uh, many, I think it's from here all these brushes i think this one is also for this pack yes okay so i'm going to lower the opacity to see where i'm erasing or actually i will just set it to multiply For clothing and decoration, this is very useful, especially for net tights because they are really hard to draw and make them look natural. 
This is a bit like cheating, but... <laughs> but not really. So yeah, see it looks really nice. And this is um, black and white, but I think that maybe we can change the color for this one. Let me see. Ah yes, if you choose the primary color is going to be red here and the secondary color is these uh, dotted lines and then the background is going to be a mixture between the two thick. So yeah, it gives a lot of options to work with. The last material I would like to review for today is this fire brush that I really like. So it, you use it, it's, it's really good already, but I'm going to show you some tricks <coughs> Sorry, to use it uh, and make it look nicer. So I make a new layer and make it uh, screen mode and I draw. Fire here. Then I make a new layer on top and leave it as normal. Then I draw more fire under the first layer. Now I'm gonna make another layer on top and I'm going to make it add glow. And I can also change the brush so that uh, some parts are a bit different. Yeah. So yeah, this is really good and it also comes with this other brush for like particles. So yes, uh, adding fire was never easier. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, so that would be it for this video. I hope that you will find these brushes and actions useful. And if you like this kind of video, then I guess I will make more. Because for me, this was fun since it doesn't need audio editing and such. So it's, it's a lot faster to make. Also, if, um, if you want to support me or check uh, more tutorials by me, I'm making tutorials from now on for my Patreon for only $5. So, uh, yeah. So, if uh, I'm going to le leave the link in, my, uh, in the video description. And if you like, well, just check it out. So if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. Bye bye!